What's going on guys? Today I've got a quick unboxing and a little overview video. So I reached out to the good folks over at Outlaw Audio after browsing their website and came across what I think may be one of the best multi-channel amps you can get at a relatively affordable price. I know, my affordable may be different than yours, but hey, if you've got that spare change, Outlaw 7220 looks like it's gonna be a hard amp to reckon with. So let's get it unboxed and go over a few tech specs. But before we get into it, if it's your first time here, and you're in the home theater and want to keep up with what's new in the audio and video space, then consider subscribing for new weekly content. Okay, let's get this unboxed. The amplifier retails for $27.99. I know I said relatively affordable, but I mean, there are amplifiers that cost 10 times as much. Yeah, it weighs 93 pounds and I don't work out. Don't judge me. We have the quick start guide and warranty info. Here's the trigger cable and of course the power cord. Taking a quick look at the front, the 7220 isn't trying to bring sexy back. It's pretty plain and unassuming in appearance, but it's not the looks that make this thing special, it's what's on the inside that counts. That's a free life lesson for you. And what's inside are two giant toroidal transformers that you can see right under the vents. This is a class AB fully balanced amplifier. It can put out a massive 220 watts per channel into eight ohms with all seven channels driven, or 330 watts into four ohms. Remember, this is rated with all channels driven at once and not one or two channels driven like you'll find on most receiver power specs. Back to the front, you'll see a single power button and some logos. Around back are RCA and XLR inputs. You can select which one you want to use by toggling the switch. And if you're wondering which connection is best to use, XLRs are supposed to give you a cleaner noise-free connection by canceling out noise, while RCAs can be susceptible to noise and interference if it has poor shielding. I tend to always use XLRs when available. Here we have the trigger input, ground, master power switch, and speaker outputs which are conveniently labeled. All right, it's an amp, so there's not much to look at. That's what it sounds like is what counts, but I'm gonna save that for the review though. This is just a quick unboxing and a little overview. So I'm gonna drop this in my equipment rack, which I'll have power my lower seven channel speakers. My current setup is still the Arendel Sound Monitor S's. If you haven't heard of the brand, I'll leave a link at the end of the video if you wanna check out their review. Now I'm gonna give this thing a listen for the next couple of weeks and I'll come back with a full review and give you my thoughts and impressions. Now before we leave, if you guys are running any of the Outlaw amps, let us know down below which model you've got. Be sure to follow us on social media and if you wanna support the channel and get exclusive content and giveaways, stop by our Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again in the next video.